Welcome, welcome! It's Mud Dog with the Texas Space Navy bringing you another Star Citizen video. And we have Planetary Tech V5 and Stealth Armor Suits. So let's get right into Planetary Tech V5. They just introduced Planetary Tech V4 a couple patches ago, and it was awesome. This new one brings a new level of awesome. So they're going to bring Flat Galaxy into existence. So all the planets they're going to redo as flat, flat, flat. Because as we know, the Earth is flat. They want to make all the planets look similar to the Earth. So they're going to make all these planets look flat. As you can see, you have Daymar right here, and it is flattened out with the underside as well. It's like a floating uh, rock, upside down mountain, whatever you want to call it. It's pretty cool. You've got the desert on top. Really neat. Uh, they say it's going to make it a lot easier to land on planets now, which I am really looking forward to because, let's face it, sometimes landings uh, have been a little rough in the past. Uh, and now with the flat planets, it's going to make that so much easier. Thank you, CIG, for putting this in the game. Uh, here you have Art Corp as well. So that's one less thing to worry about when you get to Art Corp as well as, you know, running into buildings. There'll be a little bit flatter terrain for you to deal with. Um, and landing there will be much easier. Uh, let's get into the frequently asked questions. Will I fall off the edge of a planet if I get too close? And the developers say yes. Aside from being super accurate scientifically, they think it's an exciting gameplay implication because they're going to put valuable items and lucrative missions uh, or something intriguing, like some sort of intriguing point of interest near the edge. And are you brave enough to risk a long fall to pursue it? Uh, so they're referring to this as risk reward and they promise it'll be very thrilling. Uh, what about water? What happens when it reaches the edge of a planet? Well, most of the planets have been designed to alleviate the problem, but they're thinking about adding on Hurston a great waterfall to nowhere that flows mysteriously off the side of the planet. Uh, so that should be cool as well. How does atmosphere work in these flat planets? Well, obviously, uh, flat planet atmospheres are contained within like this magical dome. So they're going to do some hand wavium on that as well. Uh, how will this affect weather? All bad weather within the domes are caused by statics, clouds, generating by bummer moods and negative vibes. So in other words, the overall mood of the NPCs and PCs playing that system will determine the weather. So it's really cool how they have that designed. I'm looking forward to see how they implement it. Uh, how will this affect gravity? Well, there's going to be... Uh, well, let's say this. Gravity's fake. It's a lie. It was created by ancient secret societies to control all of us. Uh, we've been duped, so they understand that. They know that, but they also know that the video game needs some sort of physics to make things happen. So they're going to do a magical gravity in the domes that's kind of perceived as normal gravity. If I get to the top of a mountain or a really tall building, can I see the edge? That depends on the size of the planet. What underneath? What's underneath the planet? Can we walk on the underside? Well, they have some interesting things underneath. It's actually going to be the lizard people that control the underneath side, and they hope to put that in a future patch. That should be some interesting gameplay as well. Do planets and moons still orbit? Uh, planets don't orbit. They're fixed in place, uh, so the stone-cold science behind that is a fact, and they're finally implementing that into the game, so no more orbiting. How will this affect space travel? Space travel will, of course, no longer be possible So, uh, because outer space is a fallacy. So landings will, will definitely be much more easier. Uh, how will this impact the current lore? All previous lore is going to be rewritten and changed. So you can look forward to that. So what we have here is the new stealth armor. Uh, I was really, really glad to catch this uh, I found the secret base that sells it on Magda I'm not gonna tell you where it's at because I don't think it's safe for everybody in the verse to have but you can bet that all my Texas Space Navy Rangers are gonna have them and we are going to utilize them in every single raid uh, so because I mean it's it, right now it's in phase so you can phase in and out with it which makes it much harder for anybody to see you um, you know at one point you could be 
in one location and then you'll phase out and you'll be in another location as I show you here in this demonstration. Really, really cool. I can't wait for this armor uh, to be on all of my soldiers. Nobody will be able to stand in our way once we get it and we will be able to dominate the entire verse. So let's check out a little more about the lizard people that they have mentioned here. We'll click on this. April Fools! Got you all! Thank you for playing. Thank you for coming. Now, in seriousness, I love that CIG does the April Fools jokes here on April 1st, and I hope you guys didn't buy into anything that I said because it was all BS. Uh, with that said, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that little bell icon to let you know when I do more of these. I really appreciate all you guys tuning in to my videos. Thank you so much, and uh, I hope you all have a very good April Fool's Day. Get some people to come view the page. Maybe they'll get a kick out of it. I'm Mud Dog with the Texas Space Navy. I'll see you out in the verse.